Welcome students, Thomas Harmer here, your accounting professor. And here we are in a demonstration of data entry in the Evans Consulting Accounting Project. So I will be demonstrating entering a transaction in the general journal and posting it to the general ledger and some items involved with that. So here we go. So you've already seen the overview, so all of the little remarks that were here, you've deleted. So this, we've got the journal. Uh, we've got over here the transactions that we're going to enter over here. Not very many for an entire month's transactions, right? Okay, so on January 1st, 2018, we have Dan Evans invests or contributes $29,000 in cash and $7,000 of supplies to Evans Consulting Business. Okay, so $29,000 in cash. So we're going to come up here. We'll start off here with our year. Okay, and then we're at here June 1st. And if we go to our chart of accounts, account number, we got account name is cash. So we're using the names here in the uh, general journal. Tab. This is posting reference right here, posting reference. And we don't put anything here until after we've posted it to the general ledger account. Okay, so then we've got 29,000. Okay, and then the other part, we also contributed $7,000 in supplies. And we've got here supplies as a general ledger account, so that's easy. And that was 7,000. Okay, and that totals 36,000, and that is going to be credited to Evans Capital. Now, the explanation, as I've mentioned here in the instructions here, include the transaction number at the beginning of each exclamation. So this is transaction number A. I know the textbook said use the page number, but mm, you know, the textbook is not right on on all things, and more detail is always better for an audit trail. So A, okay. Okay, and then we skip a line before we go to our next transaction. Okay, so B here. Of course, now the project you're doing has got different numbers and some differences in their journal entries and whatnot. This is a demonstration. So on June 2nd, now you notice here I don't re say June. I just put the second there, okay? Until we change months, we're not going to enter the name of the month again or change pages, okay? So here, Evans pays 10 months of rent in advance, uh, totaling $10,000, okay? So we've got here, you see, an asset, like on supplies, an asset is anything with future value. These supplies haven't been used yet. They're in the supply room, so they're an asset, not an expense. So here we've prepaid rent. We've got prepaid rent as an asset. So if you pay your last month's rent, of course, where you're renting, then that's an asset because it's a future value. Okay, so I've got prepaid rent, and that amount was $10,000. And then that is coming out of the cash account. And I believe we have a check number on that. Check number 101, okay, cash, 10,000 credited and then here we've got this is transaction B and this paid let's see how many 10 months rent okay so that's an example of journalizing the first two transactions here it's oh Oops, we also have to include here, I apologize. And this is going to always include the check number, the um, reference number.
Okay, if there's an invoice number or anything like that involved, then that would be included too. Because this is the link to the supporting documents, which is the key audit trail, back to the source documents that support the numbers in the financial statements. Okay, let's go ahead and post this to the general ledger. Now, I'm just going to take a screenshot of what we've entered here to make it easier to post. Okay, so you know how to do that. For my syllabus, control P is what gives me this rectangular thing here. I click on that, boom. So there, and then I'm coming down to the general ledger. Okay, so I'm going to post that right there. Reduce it in size so I can see it a little better. Okay, so we've got my cash account right here. Okay, so I have here, this is, I've got 2018 already there, so this is June 2nd. We do not need a description here for the explanation that is in the journal. This description here is only for specific types of entries in the general ledger that we'll talk to later on. And this posting reference here is a posting reference in the general journal. That was transaction A. And that was 29,000. And that's going to give us a balance here. So this section here is for the transaction. This section here is the balance in the account. So I've got 29,000. And that balance in the account now is 29,000. It's a beginning balance. OK, so now we are going to come back here to the journal. This is account number 101. Watch this. And when I put 101 here, that indicates that that has been posted. OK, so now I come back to the general ledger. And now I'm going to supplies. Come down here, supplies. I'm at June. Is that supposed to be June 1? It was June 1. I put June 2. I'll correct that. OK, learn from my mistakes. OK, and this is transaction A again. Okay, and this is a debit of 7,000. Okay, and the balance in this account now is 7,000. So I'll come back here to my journal. And that is supplies of 104. Okay, now we're going to credit Evans Capital. Okay, general ledger. Come down here to Evans Capital. And, oh, look at that. It's got 2,218. Okay, and here we go. This is uh, June 1st. No description required. Transaction A. And this is a credit of 36,000. Down here, capital credit of 36,000. And that leads us a balance in the account of 36,000. Okay, so and that so this is account number 311. Coming back here to the journal, that's going to be 311. Okay, so I can see these are posted because these posting references are there. Okay, now let's enter uh, enter the uh, prepaid rent. Okay. So we'll come over here, our second transaction. Prepaid rent. This is a debit to prepaid rent of 10,000. Prepaid rent right here. Okay, so we got, I'll go ahead and get that in there. And this is June 2nd, okay. No description required, posting reference B. And this is 10,000. And that gives us the balance in the prepaid rent account of 10,000. Okay, now, so that is account 115. Come back to the journal. That's posted. Now we're crediting cash 10,000. Okay, so I come to the general ledger. Come back up to the cash account. This is the second now. This is transaction B. And this is a credit of 10,000. Okay, and that leaves us. Now, see, I'm not putting a credit over here in the balance. 
I'm reducing the balance of the account. This number here is showing the balance in the account. So we're at 19,000. Okay. So I can always look in this balance section. After every transaction, we have the current balance of that general ledger account. Oops, and that should be a capital B. Okay, and that is 101. Coming back here to the journal. 101. Okay, so there I've given a demonstration of entering two transactions in the general journal and posting them to the general ledger. And this is a chapter two demonstration. And there you go. So you do have an example here of a compound journal entry. Okay, that first one was a compound journal entry that you just learned this week. And there we go. Okay, well, thank you very much. You continue with this project. You'll have different numbers, but pretty much the same narratives. Be sure to save this as your Evans project, and you'll come back and make any corrections in this original of your accounting project if you make any mistakes, and I hope you don't. Okay, thank you very much, and proceed with the project.